Hello everybody, this is Norm with Two Guys Farming. How you doing? We're back on Michigan map. This is Farming Simulator 2015. This is our Farmer's Journal entry number 14. We are in our main farm area or the northeast farm. This is our potato washing and steaming operation. We're going to do just a little, we got a bunch of stuff going on, but for right now, we're just going to check out and see what is happening with everything here. So what do we got? We need diesel, we need seeds. All right. So we're going to resupply diesel and seeds. Let's check our water. Water's 88%. Okay. So, before we hop in there, let's grab our deer. So, you can see here we're on field 25. We're just about done. We have another, oh, I don't know, four or five passes. Excellent. The quad track is waiting patiently. We're going to plant some wheat on this field, I believe. Although, we'll look at that a little bit more closely when it's time. Here's our grime. We're harvesting some potatoes. We have our new Holland who is waiting patiently. There he goes. He's going to go ahead and unload into the Kenworth here, which will then transport it to the main farm. So let's head back here. First of all, we've got some steamed potatoes there. Let's put those in the trailer. And we'll do that just like that. Go ahead and start her up. Okay. So we're going to go grab the water first. We have a little shed right over here where we keep our water and fuel. Okay, 33%, so we can probably stand to refill this. And for me, the best way I've found to do that is just to back right up to it like that. So, there we go. This water's not cheap, by the way, so we're, we're, we're trying to be cautious of spending our money. At some point, I've got to try and find a river or pond to try and back this into so that we can save some money there. There is a pond directly in that direction. I tried to, but the, the banks were too steep. And unfortunately, it didn't work. So let's go ahead and... Drop some water in here. That's done. Didn't take much, but that's okay as long as it's full. And now we're gonna drop some water in there. This will probably take a little bit more than the washer. The key is we always want to keep these topped off because we want to keep the operation constantly going. So we'll drop this off. We'll top the fuel off. It doesn't need much, but that's okay. Might as well do it while we're at it. So we'll just kind of back this in here. Okay. And we're 94%, so we'll be able to drive all the way over here. Now 
It's not going to take too much. Nope. Can be a little New Holland. Let me go check on him first. We have to prompt him to unload, which is fine. There we go. Yeah, not much at all. All right, so the potato washer is filled with water and fuel. The steamer is filled with water. So now we just need to get a load of potatoes and fill the potato washer. that a little too sharp all right so we'll just drop this in here oh boy take a better angle there we go okay and what we'll do now is we'll hook up to our cramp a We'll dump our steamed potatoes, but first let's head back to our new Holland. And we now have to send him on his way. And we can see, oh, let me just uh, covers, take those off. And boy, we've got a, a shit ton of potatoes. Excuse my French, but. Seriously, we got 1.7 million. Ooh, that JCB wasn't in the way. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, we've got 1.7 million. This should drop another, I think, 75,000 liters in there. So we're doing good on the potatoes. And again, we're using them to wash and then steam. And the reason we're steaming them is for two purposes. We'll use them to create pig forage, and we will also uh, sell them, hopefully, if the market spikes for steamed potatoes. Okay, so let's hook up our... We've got 27,000 liters. We're adding 45,000 liters now. And there we go. Beautiful. Ooh, I don't want that to hit the roof. Perfect. So we'll go ahead and... I'm going to pick up some potatoes. Let me just try and figure out how many potatoes I need. Uh, seeds. Okay. So, let's see. Three, two, four, six. So, it looks like we need about 20,000 liters. I, my math is horrendous. Let's find out how bad it is. Fifteen thousand, seventeen, nineteen, and twenty. And then we're gonna try and just back right in here, although that never works. We always have to seem to go from the side. But we'll try. Yeah. Oh, we did get 
Alright. So let's see. Oh, 7,000 liters off. <laughs> Not bad, I suppose. <laughs> Considering, uh, you know, I'm not great at math. And uh, it's Friday night at uh, 1230. And let's just say I uh, went out after work and had a few beverages. So there you go. Okay, so we're going to drop these back off here. And we're going to put our, it's, I'm not crazy about keeping the crempe here, um, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal because I don't really need it, so I'm not going to sweat it. So I think... That should be fun. So we'll go ahead and put this JCB back on the conveyor. Back it up a little wee bit. Okay. And we'll shut it off. Okay. So cool. We're good there. Let's go ahead and just check back. They're about, oh, I don't know, halfway done with this field. So, excellent. Let's check on our uh, John Deere. Yeah, so he's doing good. So he's got, I don't know, another three passes maybe? And then we're going to do kind of those little bits on the end. So he's got three passes and then a headland, basically. Now, the quad track. Kind of... I need wheat. I don't have a lot of wheat. I've got 13,000 liters of wheat, which is not a lot, considering I want to start getting my animal operation going. And to get the animals going, I'm going to need wheat to feed to the animals. And I also need wheat for uh, the seed master, for seed. So that's kind of my where I'm at right now. So I'm wondering, let's just take a look here. Okay. So we have a field 13 of sorghum. We have, this has been harvested, it was oats. So I think what I'm going to do, hmm, yeah. I'm going to plant wheat on 7 to 51. 7 to 51. 25, I'm going to plant sorghum. And then 45, I'll probably... Well, I don't know what I'll replant here. Okay. So for right now, I need to get seven and two squared away. So what do we have? No, nope, I don't need that. Um, mm -hmm. Where is this? All right, I need a, I need a drill, not the one that's currently attached to my 620, my K620. So I've got this drill here. That's the only drill I have. No, 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 I've got this. Where is that though? That's what I want to use to plant my fields. So let's find out where the heck it is. No, 
Okay, so it's here. All right, so it's here, which means that it's probably right. Yep, there it is. All right, so I'm just thinking here. That is just a drill. So I need to cultivate and to fertilize. And I need to do that to seven and two. So the question now is, do I use, what do I use? I guess I can use my Fent. I've been using this. I've picked up all those bales of hay, except for that one apparently. <laughs> That's the last bale. So I've picked up all of this tethered and windrowed grass created bales and pick them all up except that one there but now I need to cultivate fertilize and seed and I'm just trying to think we're at 37 we're a little bit out of the way right now we're not close to anything right here I'm going to shut this off. And I'm going to grab my 620. I'm going to grab this 620 along with that horse drill. I'm going to go to 13, 7, and 2 and plant wheat. I think that's a good plan because um, let me think this one does not cultivate alright so I have to cultivate this stuff first let me get my New Holland okay pretty guess not okay all right so let me just check one last time I just want to make sure that 13 is planted. Okay, so 13. So I need to go to 7 and 2 from here. So I guess, why don't we do 51 first? We might as well. So we'll do 51 first. Cultivate it. And I'm guessing I'll probably grab my Fent. To send behind this to fertilize. Right? I think that makes sense. But first, let me send my new Holland. Nope. On his way. Okay, so we're on 51. Let me just put that in field 7. Okay. And... We'll select field 51 here. Got it. Cultivate. Boom. 51 there. I 
think this is more than 10 meters, so I'm not positive, but what I'll do is unfold it. Okay, it is. And we're starting northwest going south. And we're good to go. Bam. Okay. So now let's grab our vent and we got a little bit of a ways to go on this little trip. First, let's shut this off. And I'm thinking the quickest way is, yeah, we'll just head over this little wooden bridge onto the main road, take a right, then a quick left to the next left. And then the Northeast Farm will be right there for us. Okay. So, from the last episode, I've... Uh, whoa. I've picked up a lot of um, hay and baled it and have also picked up those bales and dropped them off at the Back Hay Farm, which is the Northwest Farm. All in preparation for our animals, which are also at the Northwest Farm. So we have pigs and beef there. Um, so we have a great supply of hay bales and straw bales so we're good there and now we're just building up our reserves for wheat and we've got plenty of potatoes so it's really just wheat that we need now so I probably could have done wheat sooner or, well, I was doing wheat, but I've been feeding all my wheat into the seed master to try and save money on seeds. But what I was a little slow to realize was that I was going to need wheat also to feed the pigs and the beef. So I'm a little bit hot behind on that area, but everything else, I'm, I'm good to go. So. I'll throw my hazards on there, my beacons. This is the mod that was giving me a little trouble on other maps. So, so far so good, at least on this map. So we're going to drop our baler off. And we're going to pick up our fertilizer. So right there, we can see our K620 cultivating that field, which is exactly what we want. And we're going to follow him with our Fent, who will be fertilizing. And then depending on how it works out, we may use, well, I don't know, either the 620, the case, or this, to pull that horse drill. Probably this. I think what we'll probably do is, 
Um, hang on, let me just make sure this is full. Nope, it's empty. So we'll head over here. And we'll refill it. And then we'll <laughs> it's going to cost us a small fortune. However, we don't... Oh, no, I wasn't going to do it. I don't know exactly what if depending on the angle huh oh son of a bitch if you have the cover on it doesn't fill yeah I've only done that about 18,000 times anyway so we'll get this filled up and then over to field 51 we'll fertilize it This fertilizer, the spreader, is a mod, by the way. Ooh, the deer's done. Awesome. Alright, so let me just get this guy going. And that what, what we'll do next is we're going to get the deer. And he's going to start to plow 45. Which is a field at the Grimme right now is harvesting potatoes on. Okay, so we're going to let the 620 get more of a head start. But first, let's head back over to our deer. Okay, perfect. And now what we want to do is, see these little bits here? We want to get rid of those. So. Okay. So we're just going to. You know, I'm wondering if we should just plant wheat on this field and have a huge wheat harvest. That way there, we won't have to worry about planting wheat again for a little bit. Not sure. I got to imagine a field this size would give us maybe a half a million liters of wheat. I'm, I'm totally guessing I could be way off, but um, well, let me get my get him unloaded. Yeah, I could be way off on that, but. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like horseshoes and hand grenades. It's close, you know? I mean, okay, so if I do plant wheat on this field, what do I do with seven and two, right? I mean, they're small fields. I might as well plant wheat on those. I don't know. We'll see. Gonna finish this little row here as well. So I'll go to the end. Oh, 
turn up and head south and then east and then north. I'll come right up this road again. This is a big field and this deer basically made short order of it. Like just totally nailed it. I'm gonna go ahead and this just uh oh why is he going all the way over there boy that's a serious offset what the heck kind of offset is that how did he get that kind of doesn't make sense the offset is so drastic. Alright. And not to mention the let's move this over. What we're working with is like really off. But that's okay because we basically just want to I don't know why the offset would be that much, but that's fine. Okay. So, all right, great. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to see if I go to, say, here and send him on his way and then come back. Yeah, so I think when I leave here, it kind of goes off in his own little direction. It doesn't stay on, which is too bad. It would be nice to know that if I left him at the beginning of a row and it took a couple of few minutes for him to finish that row, that I could, you know, go off and do something. Like, for instance, the Grimme is full. All right, so he's working his way over there. See, and now he goes back. All right. Nothing's, nothing's perfect, I suppose. There's our other 620. So he's going to um, fertilize and cultivate and seed this field. So it's kind of like an all-in-one deal, which is awesome. I'm still liking this, this John Deere, the old 9560. I know there are others, um, they're private though. I think they're a little bit nicer than this as far as aesthetics, the look of them. But to me, this one performs fine. It doesn't have the best textures in the world. But all right, so now I'm just gonna move this. Yeah, that should do it. It doesn't have the best textures, but they're also not the worst either. They're far from the worst, actually. All right, so. Good here. So we'll send him to the end, and then we're going to do this row right here. I 
think the I think it's a um, is it Lindbergh something like that Lindbergh modding I think his name is Lindbergh or something um, he does a lot of um, private stuff he's done some public stuff um, but he also does uh, he has got a lot of I, from what I understand a lot of private stuff as well so he does both uh, really high quality stuff and I think at some point this originally was his mod or I'm not exactly sure or positive how that works but anyway um, I think he's put out some additional iterations of this mod that have really improved it made it aesthetically a lot better in addition to a bunch of other stuff he's done um, but like I said, most of it's private, so um, no worries. So we just use this, and we like it. So it works pretty cool. Awesome. Alright, so once we finish this, we're going to lift this plow and turn around. get that one last row and then I need to really figure out what I'm going to do as far as what am I going to plant here should I just go wheat and just get a huge wheat harvest and then just put that in the bin and, and have it for a long time I think that might be the way to go because wheat or barley for that matter they're both um, you know good to have because you can use both of them for seed for the seed master to fill the seed master um, whoa 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 okay not sure what happened there well I do but I was trying to Okay, I'm just trying to change the direction of his next path. Alright, so let me just, let me leave him there for now. And... Let's get our Fent to work. Because the 620's got plenty of a head start. 51. I don't think. Let me just check. 51. Do I have a Grim Fertile? Uh, yeah, I do. Awesome. I do, I do. Let me just change that so it's start and end. Because I'm, yeah, I'm watching him. When you put him on course play and you stay, you know, on him or whatever, it negates the course play. So essentially, here's how it works you pull him up here to the course play, and then you start him, and then you go somewhere else. Like, here and now if we look at him he's running the course he's supposed to be running so yeah unfortunately that fence gets a little funky on course play but no biggie this guy's doing a great job great job and let's go over here, unload him, 
And I think we're good here, guys. We're going to call it an episode. Thanks for joining me. Hope you had a good time. I did, as usual. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.